What's going on guys? Welcome back to video number 53. In this video, I want to talk about another technique that will help us out with escaping single quotations. But this technique, we aren't going to be able to see it in PHP My Admin. So like with the double quotations where we add slashes. Here, this is what I want you guys to go check out. Go to, what is it, PHP add slashes. And... Let's look at the definition right here. Returns a string with backslashes before characters that need to be quoted in database queries. That's exactly what we're trying to do. These characters are single quotes, double quotes, backslashes, and null. Okay, well, in order to make sure everything checks out, we need to go ahead and we need to talk about magic quotes. And this is a variable in PHP functions that check to see what version of PHP you have and if you have the newer version you're able to execute this. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and go to our functions file and where is it? Includes? Yeah there it is. Okay, so I'm going to go to the top of my functions file right here, and I'm going to go ahead and paste in a function that I just created that's going to make our, our MySQL universal. So when we have a, a, a quotation or a front slash or a backslash or double quotations, it will still read it properly. So I'm going to go ahead and take, you can't see what I'm doing right now because I'm on my external browser, but I'm going to go ahead and paste this function in here that I just created, it's called function mysql underscore prep. And I want to put all of this kind of cleanup into one value, into one variable. And I want to return it right here. So go ahead and pause the video and make sure you have all of this information correct. Here's our magic quotes underscore active. <coughs> Excuse me, equals get underscore magic dpc. Okay. If our variable that we create right here is PHP version 4.3 or higher. See this, this happens. Okay, so what you guys want to do is just go ahead and pause the video right now, copy all this information, and um, actually I can go ahead and pull this back out to our get underscore info page now because I want to use this function right now. Where it is our, it's right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab this function right here. And I'm going to go ahead and paste it right there. Let's go ahead and give it the parentheses and close these out. And this will save us a serious headache. This is what developers bang their head over because this will clean up what version of PHP we have and it'll make our pretty much everything run universally. So, and this is a little bit advanced. If, you, if this doesn't fully check out right now, don't worry about this because this is probably the most difficult thing we've done. But go ahead and um, um, when, when you're done with this video, go ahead and go to php.net and check out magic quotes as well as add slashes. Okay, so now we have our function right here. We can go ahead and save that. And let's look at our create underscore info. And let me look at this really quickly. Okay, so our menu equals under prep, menu, close it out, semicolon. Okay. All right. This looks good. All right. So good luck with this, guys. Study magic codes, and I will see you guys in the next video.